Hi, so this is a chapter on volume of cylinders. Cylinders is basically um, circles that are extruded or basically circles that are piled up on top of each other. So you can imagine here, this is a bunch of circles. One circle, two circles, three circle, four circle, and so on. So how many circles you're adding? Well, that depends on the height, right? The height is the number of um, thickness or how many circles you're adding on top of it. So to calculate the volume, we basically they have the area of the circle, pi r square, times the height, because the height, again, is telling you how many circles you're adding on top of each other. That will give you the volume. Okay, moving on. So in this question, simple. Volume is basically pi r square. You need to identify what's the r here. Three over here is the r radius. So make sure that you identify the base area, which is a circle. So three there is the base area, I mean three there is the radius of the base area. So pi r square times the height, which is five, and then uh, calculate. So we have pi times nine times five is one four one one four one cm cube. This is a 3D shape. Volume is talking about 3D cm cube. Question B. So again, volume, pi r squared, don't use a diameter, they have to change it to a radius. So if they give you a diameter, which is 12 in this question, then 12 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 squared will be 6, right, times 8, times the height, and calculate everything. Pi times 6 squared times 8. 905 cm cubed. Okay, so most of the questions are the same. Uh, here is a different type. This time, you know, similar like the last questions, they always have uh, two main types. The first type is directly finding, using the formula to find the area, the circumference, or the volume. The second type is finding the unknowns with a given volume, area, or circumference. So in this case, if they give you the volume, you're still using pi r squared, right? Pi r squared h equals to the volume, one, two, one, five, pi. And then see which information they give you. Oh, I see a 9 cm there. So I'm going to replace radius because 9 represents a radius with 9 square. Now move everything to the right side. We're finding h here. So h equals 2, 1, 2, 1, 5 pi divided by pi divided by 9 square. You can cut pi to make your life easier and just calculate 1, 2, 1, 5 divided by 81. 15. So the answer for H is 15. No unit needed because H has a unit next to it there. There are questions where you need to find R. So for example, this one over here. Again, go with pi R square H because they give you a volume, right? Volume is given over here. So we use pi R square H equals to 320. Make R the subject. The height is given, which is 8. Make R the subject, 330. Um, Pi goes below, 8 goes below. And then you have to do a square root. So put a square root like this. 320 divided by 8 pi. Calculate everything. 320 divided by bracket. 8 pi. Close the bracket. You get 12.7. Uh, no unit. Because it's already written for you. 3SF. Um, should I... Okay, I'll just talk about these. Uh, let me see. Let me see this one. If the ball is totally immersed in the water, in the water, let's find the volume of the ball. Mm. So basically, over here, um, the extra volume after putting the ball is over here, right? This is a cylinder shape. All right, so basically you just calculate the volume of that one using pi r square h. r is 4, h is 2. So those are the, that's one type of difficult question. I'll go for this one. This one's a very common one. So you have a solid cylinder and then you uh, drill a hole in the middle. So what is the volume left, right? So again, every time you're drilling something out, it's usually minus. So there are two parts into this. One is finding the volume the original cylinder that was there before you drill. So the big one, basically. The diameter of the big one is 15. So, in terms of pi. Okay, be careful in terms of pi. 
So uh, the big one, this one over here, is pi 15 divided by 2, change it to radius, square times height, which is 8. And then you're going to subtract the hole that you gave, I mean you drilled. So this is the hole. It has a diameter of 7, so pi 7 divided by 2, change it to radius, square, times the height, 8. So this should be the volume left. Right? You can imagine, this is the volume it's going to remain. Um, in terms of pi, it makes it more complicated. So we have 15 divided by 2 squared times 8 is 450. So we have 450 pi minus 3.5 squared times 8, 90, 98, 98 pi. So finally, 450 minus 98, 352. 352 pi is the final answer. CM cube. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, common question here. Uh, this one, let's see, this one. Oh, this one's also quite tough. It's also quite common too. Now this one here, originally um, you have this shape, right? And then they melted it and then turned it into this shape. So it's a different shape, same volume. Okay, this is one thing you need to know, same volume. So in order to find the radius of B, you need to know the volume of B, right? And you can get the volume of B because all the information are given for A. So volume is pi r square, pi 2 square times 9. Now since I'm going to use this, I'm going to leave it in terms of pi. 4 times 9 is 36, 36 cm cubed. Now for R, so let R be the radius refining. So we have pi R square, the height is 4, and then the volume is supposed to be 36 pi. I forgot the pi here. So R square equals to 36 pi divided by 4 pi. Finally, you have 9, and then square root that, r equals square root 9, that will be 3. So the radius is 3 cm. Okay, so that's it for this video. I think I covered most of the questions that can possibly come out. Uh, see ya, bye.